Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, dear students. Mrs. Aisha here. Our today's topic under discussion is respiratory disorder, and we will discuss over here the disorder named as pneumonia. This is our lecture number six for class metric. So, first of all, what is pneumonia? Pneumonia. It is an inflammation in lungs due to infection in the alveoli. Due to pneumonia, the alveoli they are filled with pus, or you can say that in it is an inflammatory condition of lungs, especially affecting the microscopic air sacs called alveoli or alveolus and the parenchyma of lung. If we talk about the parenchyma of lung, the parenchyma of lung they refer to alveolar tissue with respiratory bronchioles, alveolar ducts, blood vessels and terminal bronchioles or you can also say that pneumonia is an infection in one or both of your lungs mean sometimes your one lung it is affected but sometimes the inflammation is severe and it reaches to both lung so it is characterized primarily by inflammation of alveoli in the lungs alveoli alveoli are microscopic sac like structures which are present in the lung and they are mainly involved in the gaseous exchange that absorb the oxygen. This is the structure of alveoli. You can see over here the structure of alveoli. And the, in the pneumonia case, these alveoli, they are filled with pus. Mostly the bacteria, viruses and some of the WBCs, those which are taking part in the inflammatory condition and uh, these dead cells they are present and due to this the pus is present in the alveoli this is condition that is the normal L structure of and the air sacs and this is the inflamed air sacs filled with the fluid and you can easily observe the inflamed structure of air sacs and this is due to the pneumonia condition so it is most common infectious cause of death it is usually characterized by consolidation so consolidation it is pathological process in which the alveoli they are filled with mixture of inflammatory exudate bacteria and wbc's inflammatory exudates those cells which are responsible for causing the inflammation in that area and after encountering by the WBCs they are present there and they are in high number so they become the exudate and you can say that sometimes the pus is there so it is also a exudate as a result of an inflammatory response so if we talk about the pneumonia epidemiology it occurs throughout the year as it is very common nowadays the viral type of pneumonia that that is the COVID-19 this is due to the coronavirus and you are well familiar with this type of viral pneumonia so occurs throughout the year result from different etiological agents mean causative agents they are different they may be bacteria they may be fungi they may be virus and some of other parasites varying with the seasons depend upon the season which season is suitable for which type of the causative agent occurs in persons of all ages you can say that the pneumonia it affects all kinds of human being mean whether they are children whether they are adults whether they are the are uh, old age people so clinical manifestation it is very severe in very young elderly and in chronically ill patients so most of the cases they are observed in the pneumonia cases they are observed in the young and elder people elder people because they are very they have very weak immune system and in chronically ill patient due to the weak immune system so they are affected by the pneumonia etiology 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 is basically we will discuss over here the 
cause of pneumonia, what type of the organisms they are involved in causing the pneumonia. The first one, if we talk about the bacterial pneumonia, so bacteria streptococcus pneumoniae, it is the causative agent of pneumonia. Legionella pneumophila, that is the also cause of pneumonia. Mydophila pneumoniae, it is also a cause of pneumonia. Staphylococcus aureus, the some type of the pneumonia is due to the this Staphylococcus aureus. Moraxella catarellus, Streptococcus pyogenes, Nigeria meningitis and Klebsiella pneumoniae and Haemophilus influenza, that is the viral pneumonia and uh, pneumocystis gyrovecae that is also a bacterial infection so influenza virus adenovirus rhinovirus coronavirus they are also the viruses that are responsible for causing this fatal type of pneumonia other infectious agents such as fungi pneumocystis carinae these are also responsible for causing the pneumonia so you can say that it is caused by bacteria viruses or fungi so gen if we talk about the general symptoms of pneumonia or the risk factors of pneumonia so general symptoms of pneumonia are cold upper respiratory tract infection so upper respiratory tract infection the infection of your throat and uh, your larynx region and then your nose so these this area it comes under the upper respiratory tract so the pneumonia symptoms of this area they include the sneezing sore throat cough and which are often followed by a high fever sometimes as i as high as 104 degree fahrenheit so shaking chills and a cough with sputum production they have been observed so risk factors you can say that that is the malnutrition the person who is having the poor uh, diet the diet that is not nutritious and the risk factor in which the person who is who is an allergic conditions already he is the patient of sinusitis or some other allergies and here the mother and the baby they are they got affected um, due to the they are more at risk or uh, your pregnant mothers they are at risk are the mothers feeding mothers and the new natal they are more at risk and the old elderly people because they have very weakened immune system so their age mostly above 55 or 60 years old depends upon their immune system if their immune system is strong so they will not get affected affected but if their immune system is not strong so we, they will easily catch the infection so he the person who is the chain smoker or the who smokes a lot he has the definitely high chances to get the disease and here the person uh, uh, who has a, a daily routine activity with some uh, chemicals or he is working at the industrial area so he will get affected by this type of disease by inhaling the um, chemicals or he, he is a he has the problem because he is uh, daily activity in the pollution he has to perform his work in the pollution so the pollution is main cause to catch this infection so risk factors, if we talk about immunosuppression, low immune system, weak immune system, malnutrition, not a good balanced uh, diet and inhalation of nox noxious substances, those which are very harmful for the health even. Uh, we have discussed in the smoking topic, the benzene, uh, metals, mercury, lead, chromium, etc. They may have the very bad effects prolonged bed rest and immobility the person who is uh, very who has, is very uh, carefree or he is in resting phase so he doesn't show any type of mobility or the activity so he may get effect affected from the disease 
एस्पायरेशन ऑफ फ्लूड लिक्विड एंड फॉरन आर गैस्ट्रिक कॉन्टेंट्स सो समाइम ऑफ वाटर रिटेंशन और द फ्लूड रिटेंशन इन द बॉडी दिस मे बी अ लीडिंग कॉज ऑफ द निमोनियो प्रोलॉन्ग हॉस्पिटल स्टे अ पर्सन इफ ही इज ऑलरेडी सफरिंग फ्रॉम डिजीज एंड ही इज इन द हॉस्पिटल सो ही मे गेट द निमोनियो डिजीज ही हैव हाई रिस्क he is at high risk he has the high chances uh, he has the high chances to get the disease prolonged hospital stay because prolonged hospital stay it leads to nosocomial infection nosal nosocomial infections are those who are um, hospital acquired infections residents in institutional area are settings where transmission is prone or the he is uh, living at the area where there is high chances of the disease mean the disease can easily spread from person to person and so many people they have got affected by the pneumonia and someone who is living nearby them so he will get the disease easily and next is the fatigue fatigue is the weakness lethargic condition risk factors age 60 or older the person who is the smoker air pollution altered consciousness mean the person who is the drinker he has the habit to take the alcohol and he has already have some injury head injury and he has already given the anesthesia he has the sir already he had some surgery so drug overdose this may be a cause of this disease so these persons they have the very low immune system and due to this they can easily get the disease or catch the infection so if we classify the pneumonia so pneumonia classification it is based on two types the type 1 that is lobar pneumonia and bronco pneumonia and type 2 is community acquired pneumonia and hospital acquired pneumonia lobar pneumonia is clear from the name lobs so lobe pneumonia is acute bacterial infection of part of lobe of entire lobe or even two lobes of one or both lungs so so in this condition